Hey, Scorpio Risers, it's the birthday coach saying you were born for more. It's been a little bit since we've had a Scorpio session, a little Scorpio snack, some tidbits, some reminders to keep you encouraged. We're getting ready to go to Thanksgiving in the States next week, and Christmas is coming up, and before you know it, we'll be in 2024. So, you know, Mars is our chart ruler along with Pluto. And all last year, I was saying, you got to exercise. You got to exercise uh, if you want success with having Mars as a chart ruler. And a lot of you know, the last few years, I exercised quite a bit. Uh, I've been off the wagon. I admit it. I've been off the wagon the last few uh, months. I got to get back to it because you will see that Mars requires that you honor it if you want to have success in your life, no matter how old you are or how young you are. Now, what can you do to create success outside of just exercising? I know some of you are getting tired of that, and I know some of you are already really great in that. Well, the sixth house is the house of what you have to do every day. It is the daily routine. The idea that you have success without putting in work is um, it's not real. I don't care how much of law of attraction, oh, I'm going to be rich, I'm going to be rich. Well, you got to do it every day faithfully, and you got to follow the, the the teachings faithfully for the law of attraction to work. So the idea that you do nothing and get something uh, is not right. Sixth house in astrology teaches we got to be consistent as something. So besides exercise, where must we be consistent? Where do you? Where do you? Got to daily be consistent. If you want your natal chart to work for you and not against you, well, Mars rules our sixth house. Okay, because Mars in whole house astrology is Aries. Aries is also ruled by Mars. You must look to what planets are in Aries and do the things that those planets want on a daily, weekly basis. Also, because Mars is the ruler of the sixth house, where is Mars in your natal chart? Because that house, you got to consistently work on and do something to honor that house Every single day, faithfully committed. Mars is like, I am tunnel, you know, narrow vision, tunnel vision. Mars is a warrior. Mars is, I just do this no matter what. I'm the soldier. This is my job and I do it. So if Mars is in a different house besides your sixth house, then we got to pay attention to that house. You got to work on that house consistently if you want all the other houses in your life to run smoothly. So for example, let's say you have Mars in uh, the seventh house. You would have to really focus on your serious relationships, building serious relationships, whether it's marriage, whether it's business partnerships, seventh house is business. So you would have to work really hard every day on building your business if you wanted all the other houses to work. So for example, you also look at the zodiac sign. Let's say that your Mars is in Gemini. Gemini's are about words. It's about words. You would have to be writing every single day, whether it's professionally or personally, or speaking, sharing information. Gemini is about sharing information. Third house of communication is the natural uh, rulership for Gemini in astrology. So what does that mean? If you weren't writing, if you had Mars in Gemini, and you weren't writing and weren't speaking every day, and you're not being faithfully in your communications to build it, to practice it, to get better at it, you're not going to have success because Mars must be honored. It must be obeyed. It must be followed. So where is your Mars? What house is it in? And Google it. Google it. What does this house mean? What are the activities of this house? And then you got to go after those activities relentlessly and religiously. Make it a routine. All right. Put in the comments below what house your Mars is in. And don't be lazy. Tell me, what does that house represent? Google it. It takes you 30 seconds. Tell me, what is the Mars in what house, what zodiac sign, and you tell me what you think it means. And then I'll say, hey, yes, that's right. Or mm, I never thought about that. You taught me something. Or I might say, also try this. So going into the new year, make sure, besides exercising, make sure that you um, also are doing the activities of wherever the house Mars is sitting in and the zodiac sign. Your Mars isn't necessarily going to be in Aries. Your Mars could be in any sign. What does that zodiac sign mean? All right, I'm going to get off of here and uh, we'll be seeing you soon.